a number of different worlds represented here. Really, I think three. There's Paul and bushcraft. Uh, there's Justine and sea kayaking. There's me and canoe. And then there's Kevin's world. And seeing it's a single occupancy, whether we count it as the fourth one or not, <laughs> I'm a little unclear. We just heard a splash in the water. It might be the haggis. They've been warning me about this haggis that might attack me. All I saw so far are fish, ducks and sheep and a splash in the water. It might be haggis. Well, you didn't believe us until this point about the haggis population. We've just gone past proof positive there's a haggis nesting box in a tree. And, you know, that's if, the, if you can't take that as proof that they're living in this area, they are quite nocturnal and they're quite elusive, but they're there. You need to watch yourself. They are there. Okay, they're trying to scare me with this haggis thing. They said there's a evil creature out here called the haggis. Oh, the haggis. You've got to be really, really careful about the haggis, Kevin. It's much more serious than bears. The tourist board tends to downplay it because if people really got the truth about this, then you would, you would scare off a lot of the tourists. They're vicious. They look cute and cuddly, but they're vicious. So beware, beware. Maybe it exists. Maybe Loch Ness Monster exists too. Just just making sure we're all using the same the same signals because already Justine and I have talked about a signal that we use totally differently. So, <laughs> yeah, and this is a really important signal when Kevin's uh, going on a bit because this is the bull and his horns and what comes out at the other end. Yeah, so the most important of all river signals. Look at this. It's, it's a it's a terrible meal we're having on the river in Scotland. Um, it's full of haggis. We finally killed one. Because they're, they're a hill creature, what they've done is developed into almost two species. So the legs on one side are longer than the other. So if you're on the hill, that's fine. Because if a haggis comes at you, turn and run the other way. And as they turn to chase you, they tumble down the hillside. He's right. Listen to that man. He knows his stuff. <laughs> This is what you do when you're on this bay. You uh, get a taxi and go to the distillery for a bit of a break while it's raining. <laughs> Very exciting. Does this uh, haggis exist? Oh yes. Yes. It's like it's like a overgrown hedgehog <laughs> with wings and top of it. Safari. <laughs> While we drive along, we're going to see some wild whiskey running into the fields. This is where they pick the crop. What do you think about this uh, crazy man? <laughs> it's quite funny. Certainly <laughs> <laughs> crazy. He didn't, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. About, he didn't even believe you about the haggis. No, no. <laughs> There's not haggis. There's well, no haggis. haggis. They've got one leg shorter than another, so they can run around the hills. See, <laughs> see. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least I'm gonna say the locals know the story. Were you like raised on this as soon as you came out of the womb? I got a haggis story for you. Ray, he's bringing another bottle. Oh, it's tough. It's hard, you know. This canoe in the spay has never been harder. You know, it's living on the river. You know, I don't know that I could do this every week, but I'll try. <laughs> Twelve-year-old double wood. I'm like a little kid in a kiddie show. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, and the, af the aftertaste mm. too. Yeah, it, and it's like nice. the second hit. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, the third hit. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning? Well, I'm feeling much chipper now. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Ooh, let's get some whiskey people come over to our campsite. Oh, my lord. Well, I'm still not sure you're taking this whole haggis thing seriously. Have you ever seen a, a wolf take down a bison you know, on those natural history documentaries where do they just get hold of the leg and take the animal down even though they're much bigger? It's the same with a haggis taking a person. They just get you by the ankle and another one gets and they just take you down. You don't need to watch out. 
and the other thing you've got to be worried about is you don't want them up your trouser leg and we're not really wearing dry size trousers with socks in because of the river it's haggis protection but we really didn't want to bother you and if you look at the label on the back of the trousers it does say proof to a certain degree against haggis attack are we there yet <laughs> yes really it's dark and it's late and it's cold and we haven't had whiskey yet and yet we're in Scotland <laughs> the haggises are out I'm even afraid of them now I actually think they're telling the truth <laughs> and I gotta pee really bad <laughs> what's up uh -uh. should I be worried about what's downstream oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely honestly you'll love it now you need to ask him about that weed scotty feasty because this man just does not believe what people everybody he's met the haggis Oh, come on! <laughs> the flying haggis! Is it, did you told everybody in the river to get me going on this? I can't believe you've not seen one yet. <laughs> what the oh. hell was that? Oh, let's go to the sea, they say! <laughs> yeah. Oh, God! That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh. I got nothing left. Nothing. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.